Hello my fragrance lovers and my good smelling companions, Dominic here for Fragrance Reviews. Um, so there's been a bit of a frustration, a bit of a disappointment really with these um, four fragrances um, that were mentioned in the previous video. And so I was thinking because of that, maybe just don't continue these videos for, for a while. But you know, I thought, why not do something purely for the entertainment of it, which is show you the box talk about these fragrances and maybe with our combined efforts we might identify <laughs> what they are okay so this is how it goes right so first of all okay so first of all, okay so the service was poor it took ages to arrive I mean they did arrive kind of a while ago now but um, <clears throat> um, the box itself is kind of crumpled as I'll show you in a bit uh, so <clears throat> and yeah, it was kind of squeezed into this thing and I was bashed around and uh, you know they were just ordered from you know Amazon UK so normally that takes a couple of days uh, sometimes even 24 hours but this took ages and ages uh, to come and then like not only that but you, you could see on the thing that um, it wasn't entirely clear what these fragrances were um, and you couldn't really see from you know the pictures or whatever what they were, but I, I had a general idea because I'd seen some of these bottles before, most of them, except maybe for one of them. I thought, okay, that'll be this, that'll be this, um, but it didn't actually say what they were. Um, and then when it finally got here, it looked like it had been like shipped from China for, or something like that. When you looked at the bottles, as we'll see, there's this Chinese <laughs> Chinese inscriptions, and then you got ASD, ASXD or something like that. And I looked that up and I didn't recognise that house of fragrances. But um, uh, I, I don't think they're fake. I think they're just from another country or something where the names aren't actually there. Now, there is some English on them and there is some Chinese on them. So um, I thought just, just for the fun of it, I'll, I'll do some impressions. I was wearing one of them and I will do some impressions of these and try and identify what they are. Um, perhaps with a bit of help. And I thought, you know, this, this might be just a bit of entertainment. So, are you ready for this? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll show you the box now and we'll take a look at these dubious, dodgy fragrances and we'll go through them and we'll see what we think. Right, so uh, here we are. Yeah. Looks quite um, yeah, bashed in here. This was a lot more crumpled, but I've straightened it out. But um, and it was in another thing that you slide off, but that's really kind of botched that other piece of thing that went over the top. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can probably recognise one or two um, what they are already. So when I saw these, I I, I thought, okay, so um, you know, this one, this one here. This is probably something, I was hoping that this might well be Invictus Aqua. I mean, we've already got Invictus. It might just be Invictus there. Uh, this one looks like it might be Tom Ford Black Orchard, because I do recognise that bottle. This fella here, I've been wearing that. That's quite nice, quite a good fragrance. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. I have no idea what this one is. So uh, we're going to get them out and have a look at them uh, one by one. So um, <clears throat> we're going to have a little spray. Um, and we're just going to see, see see what's going on. We might we might have a bit more fun with these, and we might stretch out a few videos with them. If we can identify them, they're genuine and everything like that. They probably are. It just uh, as you'll see, there's the Chinese inscriptions. So why don't we start with this one here? That looks like the easiest one to identify, right? So I'll do that. Right, here we are now. So with the Tom Ford Black Orchard, um, the bottle will normally come, well, like this, pretty much, but uh, there will normally be a gold cord around the neck of the bottle. Uh, it's missing that, but maybe because it's a miniature, you can get away with some of the toppings, but uh, maybe they should have had it anyway, to be accurate. Um, this kind of a bottle design is quite good, and the name kind of goes well with it. You're kind of imagining this might be... Uh, you know, uh, I get something kind of darkish, 
uh, maybe black currant, blackberry sort of thing, and uh, fruity and sort of um, it's got like truffle and this sort of thing. But actually, this fragrance is is pretty is pretty is a pretty serious uh, fragrance as they go. Um, you know, if you were to get a hundred mils for this, you know, you'd be looking at about two hundred pounds to get a hundred big bottle of this. Um, but obviously, if you want to get a smaller bottle, then uh, you know. So um, it's supposed to be quite a good fragrance, and you know what? It's actually got eighteen notes uh, uh, in it. That this particular brand, right? So um, yeah, as I say, um, it's going to be very hard to see anything, but uh, um, yeah. You see those little characters underneath. Um, those are sort of Chinese or something, or Japanese, I don't know, it looks like it's Chinese, yeah. And, you know, uh, and who recognises this? I mean, uh, I should probably know that, but this ASXD, is that, that's a fragrance house, is it? Um, I'm not too familiar with that, to be honest. Um, anyway, but I think I've seen that before, that ASX, and, but then they seem to all have it, but I don't think they're all from the same fragrance house, so... Um, so shall we get a spray of this and it'll be up to you people to decide whether you think these are fake or real, but they, they probably are real, they're just in a different language and, and such like. <clears throat> so we're going to take our top off, yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, gold does blend fairly well with black and a goldish colour, you know. Um, right, let's direct this and get a little go of this. Being generous because you know. Oh, that is good. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Gosh, yeah, I'm impressed. Mm, pretty enticing. Um, I wouldn't mind wearing this, but uh, I have to do an update to see if it actually holds up. Um, oh, no, I'm, I'm starting to like that actually. It's a pleasant surprise. I mean, I don't know what I was <laughs> expecting. I just have this. Um, a little bit of a frustration and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sceptical of what's really going on here, but anyway. Um, these 25 mm but oh, that is lovely actually. It's sort of a, getting into the heart notes now, wow. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised, people. Well, we won't go all into each and every one of them, but we'll kind of do all of them and do some initial impressions, that's sort of general, but I won't go in depth with these ones. But I have already told you a bit of information about Tom Ford and how it's got 18 notes. But we'll go into those maybe when we do a proper review on it, maybe. If, uh, but oh, that's lingering around. Oh, it's very powerful because I was trying this other one and it seemed a little bit tacky. But once I got onto this one, must say that's a lovely fragrance. I don't think I've smelled it before either. I probably did before, but um, as a little in the in the shop, you know. Mm. Yeah, I'm really liking that actually. Um, looks like this one is going to be the winner if, if, uh, if we're going to be comparing all of them. It's a satisfying fragrance. It's uh, juicy, tasty. It's got all sorts of notes flying around. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty powerful. I think just, um, yeah, yeah, and it's pleasant. Attractive, masculine, dark, fruity, lots of vibes going on. Well, that's going to identify before I go very in depth. Mm. Yeah, mm. well, it is dark, fruity. It's probably got some florals in there, but um, you know, it's uh, quite an exciting, quite a, it's quite a, got a bit, good bit of energy to it, really. It's uh, means business as well. It's a busy one. Right, that's lovely. Um, quite distinctive fragrance, but we won't get too in depth, otherwise this could go on for like you know forty minutes, or whatever. So um, there we go. Um, shall we go on to the next one? Uh, not too bad. Um, so we're going to have a look at this one. Next in line. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, this looks like it's supposed to be uh, Pacaraban. Um, yeah, you see, I don't know if you can see from there, but the juice, I think, um, it does actually look lighter on the camera, but here it is actually a little bit, 
purpley, a little bit kind of um, more the colour of just Invictus rather than Invictus Aqua. I think Invictus Aqua is more turquoise-ish uh, juice. I could be wrong, but um, yeah. And now on the top, it doesn't really look like we can push that down, but we'll find out. Must be a way to spray this thing. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yes, so uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be an adventure. How are we going to get to the fragrance? You see, there's no um, no thing here. Looks like we're going to have to pull this off or something. But yeah, definitely not, that's not going to happen. We're not going to... Can't really get any vibes on notes yet. Um, gosh. Okay, here we go. Something's happening. Ah. <laughs> They couldn't, uh, they couldn't do it properly, but that's definitely not the way. <laughs> that's definitely not how the real bottle operates. But they, they, you know, they get some. They get to be like that. They get to do this for a bottle this size. They get make it a bit more convenient for themselves. Not give it the big fancy thing where you, it's supposed to spray out of here. If anybody knows anything about Pacaraban and you know that whole line with all the flankers of Invictus, Invictus Aqua, and then there's another one, Invictus Legend. You know. Um, Right, so we've opened the top. Now let's get a little bit on here. Um, yeah, I'm afraid I've been spraying the other fragrances, haven't I, really? But um, <clears throat> anyway, I'll, we'll do it here. Yeah, mm, very pleasant. Very uh, aqua, marine, maritime, sort of beachy. The waves, yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, it might be a little disappointing, but I, I think I've had this one before. I think I can kind of get the vibes, unless it is the flanker that seems similar, but I sort of know that smell, yeah. It smells a little bit synthetic. I mean, um, not terribly natural. There's something a bit tinny in there, but yeah, it does kind of transport you to something sort of um, beach, sort of a, that sort of atmosphere. Yeah, it's sort of an aqua type of a fragrance. Um, a bit disappointing it's not Invictus Aqua. I think this is just Invictus. I don't think it's Invictus Legend. I don't think it's... Yeah, I think it's just the number one that came out, which is a lovely fragrance. Um, hmm. uh, not as powerful and punchy as that other one we just did there. Uh, Black Orchard, which is what we're assuming it is. Uh, it probably is. It's such a good... Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, one more little blast of that. Yeah, I think I'm right about this one. So I think we've I think we've um, solved what this one is and the other one. So put our ridiculous thing back on there, which is totally not accurate the way it's supposed to be. But um, for a bottle this size, I guess they can do what they want, as we mentioned. It's not even closing properly now, but um, yeah. Hmm, um, it is nice. It is very nice. Okay. Um, that's those two. So we're, we're halfway through and we're going to tackle the other two next. Two to go. We're taking this one. Right. Home spot. Any clues? Is that all we're going to get? Is that the only information? Um, and you'll see the Chinese inscription under the ASXD. Now, forget, you know, some people out there might be thinking, oh, he's making a fool of himself, he should know these things. But look, you know, there's so many fragrances out there. You know, those two are kind of obvious. But this thing here, um, you know, is it Alorum Sport? Is it, uh, I mean, it's the wrong bottle for that one. So what is this? Is this a flanker of that? Um, let, let's just get this open anyway. Um, pretty nice design on this one anyway. Uh, so who has seen this bottle before anyway? Um, uh, now it, it probably is Allure Home Spot, okay? Um, out of that one, but uh, I think the bottles I've seen before have a greyish here, but I'm pretty sure there is this version as well. Um, so that'll be another thing to do more research on. But this is just sort of um, kind of for the fun of it, I'm just kind of opening it up. I'm not doing extensive research, I just kind of wanted to give you the real life sort of thing um, of just me 
figuring out these fragrances, okay? So um, so let's get a bit of this supposedly Alorum spot uh, on. Uh, we're running out of uh, ways to do this, but uh, I'm going to climb up the rest of it and get some of this on. Okay. Hmm. Yep, so as I said, I've been wearing this one a bit. And again, this is a, a soapy, masculine, fairly attractive, fairly appealing. Mm, probably one that's uh, wouldn't wouldn't have too much of uh, an aura about it, but um, mm, it looks like um, very uh, very high hygiene conscious gent who has uh, kind of a soapy-ish fragrance, and it's. Uh, kind of got that fresh vibe to it because you smell it and you think ah fresh you know good masculine it's that kind of a thing um and apparently <clears throat> allure on the spot is a popular fragrance lots of men like it uh, yeah i haven't heard an awful lot about it but i have known that you'll always find an allure on the spot when you go into the fragrance shop so um yeah that's for bottle design yeah, it's pretty nice um in fact, I would, I think I might even prefer this type of visual over this sort of grey, sort of, you know, the one which is not transparent, it's just got grey over here. And <clears throat> But some people differ on that. I do like to see kind of the glass of the bottle and kind of see where the juice is at and, you know, the level of it. And, um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's um, basically... This is the kind of thing I would wear, you know, going to the gym or whatever, you know, smell fresh and that kind of thing. And um, but haven't really got into it and explored the notes of this one, so um, it's enticing. I do like it. It's definitely something you could. It's, it seems to be a very safe male fragrance. That's that's basically my initial impressions of this one. There's probably a good. There is a lot more to say about this one because it is popular, and we're assuming. Well, it is. I'm sure it is a lower rum spot. It's just doesn't tell us. Um, okay, so um, we're down to our last one, which is this thing, which is one I was dreading. Haven't even got it out. But what on earth is that? I don't know. Let's pop it out. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you won't be able to see that writing. Uh, but it says, Poor Hon. Well, there's a lot of poor homes out there, um, but all I have to do is look up and find poor home with a green strap around it. And look at that grey top. I'm not really buying that presentation. It looks ch cheap and tacky, to be honest. Um, that's a bad top, really. I mean, this, this gimmick is kind of cool, but uh, nah, I'm not buying this grey plastic for a top. Nah, not for me. Um, then it's got this kind of slenderish body to it yeah not bad um i mean i like the idea of this whatever it's supposed to be and i, I haven't really gotten the whole vibe of what this one is 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 about um but anyway poor home yeah so i think we've basically figured out what the other ones are with pretty much yeah i, I think we've kind of cracked the other ones but uh this is the mystery bottle <laughs> <laughs> what the beep is this? Um, right. <laughs> oh dear, look at that. Terrible. Um, yeah, I, I, poor Hom. I mean, what comes to mind is uh, Dolce & Gabbana, poor Hom. That was beautiful fragrance. Uh, there is a review on that. I'd kind of I'd go on and on and on about it. But. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get an atomizer to face us. Shall we take a little peek at this one? <sighs> Very curious about it. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Mm. Gosh, this has been a day full of surprises. I want to know what this is. It's not bad. Mm. Okay, it's... You know what? haven't smelt that before. Um, 
it's not it's not like uh, it's not like the Pakaraban thing here, but it's um, <laughs> ooh, it's uh, okay. So it's sort of aqua, but it's kind of sweet, uh, like pleasurably sweet to smell, and it's kind of aquarish. And there's a fresh sort of yeah. It's not like that one though. That's that seems to be more targeted than what they trying to do with this thing but um oh yeah hang on um yeah it might not be oh it is nice though um I, i'm a bit skeptical about how it will really perform but um you know what that, that's a nice impression um well okay look I won't, I won't go on about something i don't really know about but um i can tell you that's a nice smell i'm quite happy with that um i must say <clears throat> be interesting to wear this around and get some reactions from people but um, out of these so far I mean we haven't done a proper review or a proper comparison but this would come first um, <clears throat> well overall uh, then then probably um, yeah then I'd probably I'd probably like to wear this possibly over Invictus although that, that is quite a quite a tough decision I haven't quite Figured out which one I like the better, which one I like more uh, out of those two. But um, then uh, out of these two, then yeah, you see, this is one I actually know and I know how it goes and how it performs. So uh, I'd be safer to say that this one would come next and this one, you know, this this. Um, but then with the the smell, I haven't checked the performance or anything. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So it's number one. Number two, number three, and number four. Although if we do figure out more about this one, uh, this one might get a bit higher in the ranks for that. Um, but this has been interesting, I hope. Um, you, you probably already knew all these ones anyway, but um, uh, yeah, if anyone would like to comment on Poor Hom, whatever it is, um, go for your life. And um, thanks for joining me again for another video. I know took ages to get around to it, but it's just that I didn't know whether I should actually do anything with fragrances that don't have proper names or anything. It just seems a bit unprofessional, to be honest. Um, but uh, no, thank you again for joining me. Uh, that's me. I'll, I'll sign out now. So <laughs> March forward, as always, smelling good.